You said effort. Yeah, it was, just, effort, it was more effort. You know, like I right, let me care about the shots that I'm gonna throw. Let me care about. I know what he's going to throw, so I just had to figure out the counters, and that was the second fight. I I invited out all my people, too, and then just to tell them, like, I'm going to beat them. So, and I did. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, talk about, let's talk a little bit about you. How many amateur records, uh, how many amateur fights have you had? Uh, I had around uh, 175 fights as an amateur. I lost 16 times. Uh, but I was an eight-time national champion. I was ranked number one in the USA. I was really known back in the amateurs, and yeah, I won a uh, silver gloves nationals twice. I won um, junior Olympic uh, nationals. I won a lot of tournaments back in my day. Ringside national, I won a lot of tournaments. But then, you know, but the pros and amateurs is much different. So, but it's the experience. So I have a lot of experience. Um. Well, well, any other notable names that you like, big names that you've been able to share the ring with in the amateurs as well? Uh, uh I, I I was able to share the ring uh, when we were the same weight uh, with Jesse Bam Rodriguez. I don't know if you, um, yeah, of course, that was a cool. We uh, we've always made it to the finals together, but uh, he he got me. He, he had me. That pressure was real. I give my. I've always been cool with Bam and his family. Much respect. Um, and I hope he does good against uh, Shrada. I don't know what's the date, but yeah, all respect to him. Yeah, he's a good fighter. We have good fights. I've always wanted to beat him, but I love sharing the ring with him. He's a cool dude. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, I mean, who do you favor um, in that fight with him and Estrada? Um, I favor Bam. I like Bam. I don't really know too much uh, on Estrada. I don't even know how to say his name, kind of. But um, uh, I I like Bam. You know, that's that's the homie right there. So I hope you know. I hope he does good and. All the blessings come to him, and um, and he's he's a hard worker, and he's like accomplished it a lot at a young age, and you can't you know you can't hate on that. So I'm proud of him, and I I hope he's victorious that night. Nice. So tell me, what does this fight mean to you? Uh, that your next up upcoming fight with Armando Vargas. Uh, it means a lot only just only because of the fact that like we had a history, and I know his family and. I mean, it's just, it's a fun fight. So I want to be ready for a fun, like a good fight, you know? So it means a lot that uh, if I do beat him, um, which is very certain I will, um, I think it would just boost me up a little bit. I mean, I guess just to show that, yeah, if I really try and I focus, I could be um, some good fighters. He's a, he's a good fighter, but um, I feel like I can uh, express a lot of my skills in, in the ring against them come July 6th. Nice. Now, there was some rumors circulating. Were you fighting in the combat league at one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was fighting. Uh, that was when I was barely getting back into boxing, and I felt like, you know, let me see how it is. The eight ounce gloves, one round. Um, um, it was, it was, it was a fun experience. It was great. Um, I'm glad that I see that it's keep going and it's growing. You know, um, so I'm proud of that. But I just had to step down because I want, I want to fight, um, like some real pro fights. You know. How did uh? you go about like wanting to box you and your brother uh it was you know uh ryan uh he started it all he's he tried baseball and then my uncle got him into boxing because he hated team sports and i was always the one just you know fucking around but once i saw ryan getting all the attention i was like nah i'm gonna i'm gonna try so we just took it from there me and my dad my uncle didn't really want to train me at first but um that was okay and then my, me and my dad got into it and I actually, uh, Ryan lost is actually his first, like, two fights, three fights before he really picked it up, and then I won my first 10 fights, so I was, I was proud of that, but then, yeah, I lost, but, yeah, it was all history after that. So, what would you have to say that, like, you kind of had one foot in, one foot out when it came down to boxing? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was all my life, uh, throughout my amateur career, you know, I mean, I took it very serious. Uh, I had the, you know, winning competition, but I also, you know, I, I, I love to live my life and I don't take my life granted and I don't, I ain't going to put my whole entire, uh, whole entire shit into this. Um, only because, you know, there's bigger, there's bigger things than just boxing, you know, 
but it's amazing, you know, to be in shape, to take it serious because it is a deadly sport. So that's why I take it serious. I don't take it serious because of the money I can make or or uh, the fame I can get. I take it serious because it's life and death in that ring. And um, but whatever blessings that God gives me for my hard work, well, then that's what I'm going to receive. I like that, that you don't let boxing just take over your life like. Now you nah. said that you take it very serious, um, and it mm -hmm. seems like you. Now at this moment in time, coming back into the ring, don't do you feel like you have to let it take over your life, or do you feel like you can pace it? You know. Well, like that's why you know you have camp, and you know you go away because for the six weeks that you're training, you do have to let it take it over your life. You know, and that's the sacrifice of boxers. Um, yeah, you can say, oh, this this shit's not just. Uh, just a training camp. No, it, it's year round. You could say that, which you know, my hats off to people who really do that. But I, you know, we're all different people. I only train very hard, and I dedicate myself for a camp for a fight. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna dedicate your whole entire life just for like what 45 minutes, an hour, you know. Um, so I dedicate my time where I have to be away from my kids, my loved ones. Uh, for six weeks and I have to get into a mode that's not too nice so I don't want to be in that mode year round fuck that I want to be who I am the whole entire time and uh, but when it's time to get serious I get to business and my whole team knows that that's lit now yep. when we met I think you made a comment upon not just one Vargas brother the yeah. other one too right yeah the little brother Armando and El Mal and Mado. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, uh, it's Amardo and uh, Emiliano. El Emiliano, Emiliano, yes, yes. Which moved yeah, up in weight. Yeah, yeah, he went up in weight. Um, I'm proud of him, man. He's doing good. Uh, can't hate on him either. I mean, he's a young kid. He's fearless in that ring. He wants to be in that ring, and he's training hard for it. You can tell by um, his uh, work ethic. I would, I would say, like, man, if he wants to fucking go in there with the big guys already, well, then go in there, you know? I tip my hat off to you. But, um, you know, there is levels to this, and I even know that, you know? I have great skills, but skills go out the door when people have that experience. They know that those punches are coming. So, I mean, I, I wish them all the best. I even wish them all the best after this fight, you know? I have nothing against that. I don't have nothing against their family, but, you know, right now, obviously, we're going to be talking shit, and I do think he's not a good fighter but that doesn't mean i want the best for him uh, i don't want the best for him so after this fight i hope we can be cool and but for now my whole my whole camp you know i'm just focusing on beating that ass <laughs> mm. out of all the all the brothers when it comes to skill set where do you think armando is amado yeah oh, the one that uh, i mean he uh he's done this a long time so you can't say that like he, he doesn't know how to fight, but I feel like he doesn't have that, you know, that, that fighter in, in, uh, instinct of where, you know, how to adapt to a situation. I feel like you take away his A game, he doesn't have a B game, you know, and, that, and that's okay. You can't, I mean, you can try to change who you are, your style, or, but it's all about experience and he doesn't have that much experience to, if you take away his A game, does he have a B game? You know, but hey, I'm not gonna say too much. <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah. But in the same, coming into it now, now you guys are uh, pros, and the eight ounces go on, the yeah. headgear comes off. What's the difference this time around, Sean? Uh, just, I mean, it's who wants it more, who works, who worked yeah. harder, you know, and um, oh, okay. uh, it all it. it it depends, you know, it depends on what we'll see when we get in that ring. I mean, I've been in the ring with eight ounces before. I've been in the ring with hard punchers. So, I mean, if he thinks that he's going to be any different, I'll be scared of him. Well, he has another thing coming because, I mean, we, we, I, I don't know why he doesn't understand. We've all been in the ring, you know, we all, mm -hmm. we all know how to fight. It's just who's the better one and who worked harder. So now, we'll, see, we'll see July 6th. Now, how many rounds is this? This is eight round, eight round fight at one thirty five. At one thirty five, okay. And now, I, I've only done four rounds, you know. 
I've only done four rounds, so this is my first A round. I mean, I've done multiple rounds in sparring, but this would be my first long fight. But I mean, with my luckily, I'm blessed with a brother who's been. You back, Sean? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, there we go. I had I had a phone call. I might get it again. I don't know, but um. I always tell people, say, put it on, do not disturb. Let me try that. Hold on. Do not disturb. All right, cool. All right. I'm so back. You, so, yeah, you yeah, were saying. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going eight rounds, and um, I luckily I'm blessed to have the opportunity. Sorry, it's hot as fuck in this car. But, um, now nah, you turn it up. But, um, I luckily I'm ex um, I have a brother who's experienced going these long rounds, and he told me, he goes, I know a long round seems like. It's um, it's it's a lot, which it is, but but it gets it gets easier, kind of. Your if you get that second win going into the other rounds, you know, when you think you're tired, but you get that second win, and it's it's totally uh, totally uh, uh, relatable because I I know for a fact that when you go into the later rounds, your your body gets used to it, you know. Your body kind of adjusts, adapts to like, okay, I'm in this. Let's just keep going. You know, you get in the mode. So um, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, you do really have to work very hard for it. I'm working very hard on my conditioning because honestly, that has been one of my downfalls in my career is my conditioning. Um, but I wasn't in the game. I wasn't a student of the game. I wasn't putting my all into this. This camp, I'm putting my all. So I hope that the work that I've done – goes into the ring and um if it doesn't you'll see july 6 if it does then i beat him pretty easy i'm i i'm looking to stop him i don't know what the fuck he's trying to do but i'm looking to stop him i'm done like it's if i'm gonna take him out i'm gonna take him out i'm gonna ruin the dynasty by just really embarrassing him and putting him on a boxing clinic that's that's my goal so we'll see what happens july 6 mm. Uh, do you do you think that uh, he could withstand your punch? You did say that you uh, your plan is to stop him. What what do you see that you could that you could disappoint that you see that you could stop? I could him? Uh, I, I I can see myself discouraging him. You know I can see myself being you know uh, uh, putting on the boxing clinic to where I can take everything away from him and just wow eating him apart little by little and that's that's what I'm going to do and. Um, if it gets to that point where I see his body and his spirit is broken, that's when I want to turn it up on him and take him out of there. Damn, that's heavy. Now, I, I agree with you. I think that this this win does catapult you, uh, for sure. Well, well, I mean, obviously not looking past them, though. Like, uh, what's the goals in boxing? I mean, honestly, man, I, I'm I love my life. I love you know how private I am. I love like I'm a family man. Um, I love being a father, and uh, my main thing is my two babies get to grow up in a in a good life. Even though how hard this world is already, my main goal is just to is is to help them, you know. So that's that's why I'm doing it is to make the money, you know. I'm doing it to support my family. I'm not doing it for the fame. I've always said that. So I'm just ready to. Uh, we'll see what happens next, you know. If I if what if God blesses me with an opportunity. To eat, and to make money and to support my kids without boxing, well, then that's where that's the route I'm going to go. But if I have to go in the ring with a bad motherfucker, just know I have no fear. And I'm going in that ring and to support my family. That's what it takes.